Welcome to the second day of Tecmas. Let's talk a little bit about streamlining your course navigation within Canvas. The course navigation can be found on the left side of the screen right here. So this is the course navigation, and anything that is hidden from students has an eyeball with a line through it. Anything that does not have that is viewable to students. This is a very common point of misunderstanding for those who are new to Canvas. For example, many people will leave assignments turned on thinking that students have to have that in order to get assignments. That is not correct if you are directing all of your content through modules, which is always considered a best practice within Canvas. You also could hyperlink, though that's a not as good a way as linking through modules, and it is important that we streamline the course navigation so that students don't see all of these options. And the way you do that is you go to settings, and then you navigate to navigation, you select navigation, and anything at the top is going to be visible to students, anything at the bottom is going to be hidden from students. And again, you will always be able to view items that are hidden from students. So hiding them from a student does not turn them off for you. And if I hide assignments, that does not mean I'm turning off assignments for the course. It just means I'm making it so that students can't access those assignments without me telling them to through a module or through a hyperlink. So if I have assignments and I select disable, I can choose disable, and I'm going to disable as many things as I possibly can. So things like pages and quizzes, you want to disable. In reality, you probably only need one or two, maybe three or four at the middle school and high school level visible to students. Any more than that is going to cause confusion. So I'm going to click Save. And to check what this looks like, I'm going to go into Student View. And so if I go to Student View, I now see what a student sees. And notice they see only home, they see only modules. If I click on modules, again, best practice is to build in modules, I see the assignments that I want students to complete. So in this case, I just have a few demos right here that they could see. Now let's say that I left it the other way. Let's say that I, I thought that students need to have access to quizzes because I want them to take a quiz in Canvas. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn the quiz on just to show you what that looks like and the problem that it could cause and why it's important to streamline course navigation. So I'm going to enable that option. I'm going to save that and I'm going to go back to student view. So now let's say that I have a module I want students to complete and they need to complete that module for whatever time frame, say a week. So these are the four things that I want them to complete during the course of a week. Well, if I have quizzes open, thinking they need to take a quiz, well, now a student can click here and they can see all the quizzes in the course. So they could, if you don't have a due date established or an available from or available until date, then they can just click on the quiz and they can take that quiz, even if it's one from a long time ago or if it's one from the future. So that is the importance of streamlining, streamlining excuse me, course navigation. And hopefully by doing this, it will make your life easier so that you get fewer questions, you get fewer students in the wrong spot, and you're able to direct students exactly where you want them to go. So streamline your course navigation, turn on student view, and take a screenshot of what you have chosen to include as your two primary options, maybe three or four at the middle school, but certainly home and modules could be all that you might need in order to direct students. If you have any questions about this process, please let me know.